I'm now going to finish off sanding the headstock in preparation for putting the mother of pearl inlay in and drilling the holes for the tuning machine. I've got a set square here and I like to use this, it's nice size and I'm going to put some sandpaper on the edge of that and just sand the edges up to the pencil lines. Okay, done, right, let's uh, get the mother of pearl inlay set on here. First of all we're going to position the mother of pearl inlay on the headstock and once we're happy with that we're going to spray this with the primer paint which will pro provide a nice little outline. Now the paint's dried, what I'm going to do is just scribe around the edge of the inlay just to give us a really well defined edge because sometimes you get a little bit of overspray that goes underneath the, the inlay. As you take it away, you, I've scribed around the edge, as you take it away you see how much the overspray in certain areas goes under. So where I've scribed it here we're just going closer to the edge of the inlay so we can route this out properly in the first go otherwise we'd underdo it and it'd be too tight we'd have to go back and then you start to it gets a little bit messy. I've cut a piece of wood around to surround the top of the headstock so that the routing tool won't roll off as we're doing the routing. I've set the depth of the routing tool to just under the thickness of the inlay which is uh, 1.3 millimeters so this is set to a little bit over 1 mil, 1.2. Ready to go. <laughs> Almost done. Um, I've just got the little point of the mother of pearl inlay that uh, I'm going to cut out with a, a scalpel because the uh, routing tool is a little bit too wide for that. So that, oh, oh, because that's gone into the back. It's gone in there. You can feel it. See, it's gone in. There's something stopping it, but it's not going in down here. But that, that tip will go in here, and it's just catching here. And if we look actually find that it's just a little bit tight there just that little bit there just a little bit tight so I'm going to use a little piece of sandpaper to sand that out just going round and sanding off along where the router's been you get some irregularities just give a nice smooth edge so that when you put the pearl in it just looks neat and tidy and if you slightly overcut it it'll if it's neat it doesn't bring attention to to the uh, the cut right that's just about it we just check that it's going to fit in it just wants to go in there and it's not too tight if it's too tight you'll snap the pearl but it's just going to fit in comfortably i'm just going to uh, sand off the paint because we don't want any paint on because that will react with the the glue and give the glue a, a white color which we don't want and then uh, pop a load of glue in and stick that in place so I'm quite confident that that's going to be okay. So I'm just going to put some uh, medium super glue in. Plenty of it because it'll ooze out as we stick it in. So let's bomb that in and quickly and ease it in. Blop. And you see the glue coming out. That's very hard to see, but it's actually seated in quite nicely. And don't overpress it because otherwise it'll be t below the surface. And we, we just want to root we just want to be able to have just enough to sand off at the end of the uh, process. So we're just going to let the glue dry for a few hours then we can sand that down and that will be the inlay completed. That's just about it. Let's drill some holes for some tuning machines. <laughs> 